So one of the things I like to do when I'm preparing, even for a VFR flight like this, is I still like to use Flight Plan Go, and I like to file a flight plan. So even though I'm just kind of heading around the area and a flight itinerary will be fine, especially on a day like today, I still file a flight plan. Um, plus it lets me use, use the app. So uh, my plan was actually also recreate the flight that I did to Toronto, the planning for it and how I use flightplan.com and Flight Plan Go as well as uh, there's a couple of other apps that I like to use. Normally I just uh, hop into uh, flight plan. I'm going to jump to the map section and right away I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit this route and it always puts in a default route because I didn't build one online yet. So we're going to start off with CYOW and then we're going to go to CYRO And then we're going to go to, well, we won't go to the YOW VOR. We'll end up uh, skipping it. So we're going to go to um, CNP3. And then we'll do CYRO, where we're going to stop for fuel. And then we'll go CYOW. And I'll just do a little lap around Ottawa. Now that I've done that, I can hit the uh, save just so that we get our route. Whoops. Okay, let's edit. Oh, not CYRO. Whoops. Delete. Insert before. CYRP. There we go. That's what we wanted. So we'll save that for now. And so now let's go ahead and I'm actually going to grab this and I'm going to drag it to here on this point. And basically, we're going to fly up the river. So we'll go up the river on the east side of basically um, Camp Fortune and, and the hills. And then we'll come over the top near Wakefield. Uh, and then we'll go towards um, Quillon. And then from Quillon, we'll, uh, we'll go in. So we'll do a, a little lap around. So we'll end up going and maybe do a touch and go if there's, uh, it's not too busy at uh, Rockcliffe, and then take off, fly up the river, go to our prior and do that. Now that I've done that, we're ready to, uh, now that we've got those points, I'm going to save it again. Now normally I would save and file, but I'm going to have to connect the data, so we're going to just wait a moment on that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our tool section, which is really nice, and we're going to do our weight and balance. We're going to pick the plane that we're in. Uh, I, uh, I weighed myself today. Not happy. I have put on seven pounds since uh, we've been in the uh, stay-at-home process. Zero. Well, actually, we'll say there's 15 pounds of baggage on each seat and baggage compartment. We got the extra manuals and stuff, so let's just go ahead and call it 40. And then fuel in uh, gallons. We've got uh, 27 and 26, so about 53. So 53 gallons. Hit next. So now we go ahead and we can uh, calculate our, our weight and balance. So we can see our takeoff uh, weight 2436, our CG of 114.43, and our landing of 2436, because um, we didn't put in a fuel burn. So, fuel burn. Uh, we anticipate, um, we usually do it at about 10 uh, gallons an hour. Um, there will be crews in that phase, so it'll be under 10, but then you've got a couple of touch and goes and climbs. So you're about 1.1 uh, gallons, uh, two gallons to take off. Climb is gonna be about three gallons. Um, and then uh, let's say it's about an hour and 15 in the trip. So you're at uh, 13, 14, so 15 gallons, um, giving a little bit extra. And then a couple of touch and goes, so another gallon and a half, one, two, three, so, 18, 19 and a half. So let's say, let's say 20 gallons is what we'll burn. There's no way we'll burn 20 gallons because that's two hours. But touch and goes, 
maybe I'll, I'll end up doing a couple. So let's say it's 20 gallons, so we hit done. And now let's hit that calculate. Hey, now we see our points. We see our zero fuel weight. We see our takeoff weight, our landing weight, and we see how we end up. We are, we're well under our takeoff weight, so we'll have decent performance. Um, in a situation like this, obviously I don't need to break out POH performance and run the numbers through it for getting all of my takeoff distances and weights. I'm taking off from the home airport, so everything is, is good there. Uh, but we'll do that on another video where I show going somewhere and so wanting to calculate, especially with IFR. So that'll be a fun one to use. Uh, now that we've got data, what we want to do is go back. Well, we can hit that email button if we like. So email sent successfully. Uh, but what we can do is we come in and we can now go to our map. We go to our uh, route and we're going to hit that save and file button and I'm going to use the web so it's going to jump up and it's going to use uh, the web login I haven't really played much um, with the uh, app filing I assume it's the same I just always use the website because it lets me pick altitudes for winds there's a lot of stuff which is nice so I like using it uh, plus then it hits their advertising which I think helps pay for the fact that they give us all of the CFS and maps and IFR capability for free. As you can see we got the weight and balance emailed to us so we have proof that we did our weight and balance so we're going to do this today create a flight plan. It's already got the plane because we picked the correct plane uh, we can cover that also in a separate episode of how you actually like go in and set it up I think that'll be more of that multi-part series. But essentially, uh, all your information is already in there, so filing the flight plan becomes a lot easier. It's going to be me, altitude, let's say 3,500. Um, we'll see what they give us. I mean, going to YRO, they're probably not going to bust us above 2,000 just because we're going to do a touch and go. So we'll do that. Um, speed, let's just say we're going to do 120. Uh, estimate time of departure. Uh, at this point, I would say we're going to go at about, um, I don't know, uh, 17.15, just because that'll give us some time. Uh, fuel on board, there's uh, 53, so that's four and a half hours uh, plus reserves, um, so it's probably about five hours uh, of fuel, realistically. There is one soul on board, so yeah, if we were to stay up there. Realistically, it's five hours. One soul on board. We don't need an alternate. Um, we're going to file our own route, which is what I imported, so it automatically loads that in. The difference being that we are going to, at CYRP, um, we are going to do a slash delay zero. Plus 30 to do a refueling stop. So we'll go there to do a refueling stop. Uh, and then we hit press here for nav log. And as long as I did that right, hey, I got my delay right. I usually mess up the delay. So normally I always get the delay wrong and I've got to press the little info button and figure out the, the context. And so as you can see here, it, it'll calculate the performance, which is fantastic. It's going to tell us our wins. It'll tell us if we went at a higher or lower, uh, whether or not um, we'd be faster or slower um, doing the calculation based on true airspeed as well as the winds. And it's very, very accurate. So it's it's actually quite, uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, they've done a really good job making sure that, that that stuff is very accurate based on your plane and its performance. So as long as you're getting book numbers, it seems to do a fantastic job. Looking back in, it's got our fixes, it's got our waypoints and the information. Uh, and it's giving us our fuel burn. So we're looking at about 14.2 gallons, um, but because of those extra touch and goes, uh, we want to calculate extra for that. So that's where I said about 19. So it's also got information about uh, the FBOs that are here at our arrival, which is nice, but we already know because we park it. That one, Ottawa Flying Club, big fan. Little shout out if you want to learn to fly. It's actually a pretty good place to learn to fly, especially when you're an adult. And it's not about just doing your uh, ratings. They're also really accommodating because it is uh, it is a flying club, and it is nice to be able to uh, 
get training done when you're older and you want to fly GA, which I love flying GA. All of our information is there, it looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, save this and return to the main menu. So we save it, it comes back to the main menu and then I'm going to click in the file flight plan. And so then press here when done. And so now my flight plan has been filed. And so again, I gave myself a little bit of extra time. Um, I've already done the walk around. I've already checked the fuel, already checked the oil, did all that, prepped the plane, it's, it's ready to go. Um, it's just from the moment that you file, you still gotta give it a little bit of time to get into the system. So, you know, I've, I'll give it uh, a few minutes so that way it gets into the system. And then we'll start up and we will head out and we'll get up in the air. Now, hopefully you guys like this type of content. I'm not sure. I, there wasn't much that showed me how to do some of these things, so I thought I would uh, share it. Maybe some people like it, maybe some people think, hmm, that's... So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll do the next video will be uh, this flight. See you up there.